Heating hydrogen versus neon. Perfectly rigid containers each hold n moles of ideal gas, one being hydrogen, H2 molecule, and the other being neon, so which is monatomic. If it takes 300 joules of heat to increase the temperature of the hydrogen by 2.5 degrees Celsius, by how many degrees will the same amount of heat raise the temperature of the neon? Since we have rigid containers, uh, the walls of the container cannot move. That implies we have constant volume. All right, let's start with hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen is H2. It's diatomic. So if we write the total internal energy of the hydrogen gas, it's going to have contributions from translations of the center of mass and rotations. Now we know that uh, we have one half m uh, vx square bar plus vy square bar plus vz square bar for translations. And uh, for rotations, if the molecule is, let's say, on the y-axis, we have rotations around the x-axis, ix omega square bar, and we have 1 over 2 iz omega square bar. And if we have capital N molecules, the total internal energy will be multiplied by N. So here I have considered the bond axis, or I have called the bond axis y-axis. So that the moment of inertia, Iy, is approximately equal to zero because the molecules are right on the y-axis. So using equipartition theorem, I can see that the internal energy will have three halves kT contribution from translations and kT contribution from rotations multiplied by n or this can be written as 5 over 2 capital N kT which is 5 over 2 number of moles universal gas constant times absolute temperature. So we either multiply with number of molecules Boltzmann constant or number of moles universal gas constant. Now what is the a molar specific heat at constant volume, it is 1 over n, d, uh, the partial derivative of internal energy with respect to uh, temperature at constant number of moles. So this is equal to 5 over 2 r uh, for this gas. So therefore, the heat added to the gas must be equal to number of moles, molar specific heat at constant volume, delta T, which gives us, if I have 300 joules of heat provided, 5 over 2 nR times delta T. Delta T in absolute scale and Celsius scale are the same, so it's 2.5. And here I note that I have assumed by default vibrational states not excited, all right? So as we have said in the lectures, vibrational states are only excited at very high temperatures. So unless the problem statement tells you they are excited, you should ignore them. And here I have used equipartition theorem. Equipartition of energy, each quadratic term in energy coming from different uh, degrees of freedom gives us one half kT contribution to the internal energy. Now if I move on to neon, neon is a monatomic gas. The internal energy has only contributions from translations of the center of mass. So the total internal energy will be one half 
mv square bar capital n which has uh, which is uh, includes x square y square and z square so three halves capital n kt is the uh, contribution which is three over two number of moles universal gas constant times absolute temperature and using the same uh, formula that i have here 1 over n del E internal del T at constant number of moles, I find CV is equal to 3 over 2 R. So uh, Q, the heat added, is number of moles, molar specific heat at constant volume delta T. So first I had 300 joules, uh, N times 3 over 2 R delta T for neon, and now I also have 300 joules is n number of moles 5 over 2 r times delta t 2.5 degrees Celsius for hydrogen. So if I divide these two equations, what I will obtain here is that 3 delta t divided by uh, 5 times 2.5 is equal to 1 which tells me that delta T is 12.5 uh, divided by 3. So uh, delta T will become 4.17 degrees Celsius. Now you can see that when I heat a neon, I'm going to get a higher uh, temperature increase because uh, in the case of hydrogen, that energy is used to uh, excite both translational and rotational uh, states, whereas in this case, it's purely uh, translational. Okay, so we've talked about heating hydrogen versus neon. Uh, these are perfectly rigid containers, uh, in perfectly rigid containers, same number of moles and moles of ideal gas. One is hydrogen. In a separate container, I have neon. It takes 300 joules of heat to increase temperature of hydrogen by 2.5 degrees C. What is the corresponding temperature increase in neon? So for hydrogen, I have noted the internal energy has three halves kT contribution from translations, kT contribution from rotations, since one of the rotation axis is uh, gives zero contribution, the moment of inertia is zero. Five halves nRT is the internal energy, five halves R is the CV, and remember CP minus CV is R, so a specific molar specific heat at constant pressure for this gas would be 7 over 2 R. So 300 joules provided 5 over 2 and R 2.5 uh, degrees Celsius increase and vibrational states are not excited uh, because we're not talking about a very high temperature. For the monatomic gas neon we have only translational states providing us 3 over 2 nRT and a CV of molar CV, a molar specific heat at constant volume 3 over 2 R, constant pressure would be 5 over 2 R. So uh, 300 is N times 3 over 2 R delta T for neon, 300 is N times 5 over 2 R 2.55 for hydrogen. With the same number of moles, you can see that 300s will cancel, Ns will cancel, uh, 1 over 2 Rs will cancel, so we will be left with 3 delta T divided by 5 times 2.5 equals 1. That corresponds to a temperature increase of 4.17 degrees Celsius.